cost behaviour, we're going to look at are step costs. Now, step costs are fixed costs over a wider activity range. So let's think about an example. When we looked at fixed costs, we said that one of our fixed costs would be the rent on our factory. Regardless of how many units we produce or sell, our rent charge on the factory will stay the same. But let's think about this a little more. Let's say, for argument's sake, our factory has the capacity to produce a thousand units of our product per day. And our rent stays the same regardless of whether we produce one unit or a thousand units per day. But what if our company grows and our sales demand increases? And we get to the point where now we want to produce more than a thousand units of our product per day. Maybe we want to double our production and produce two thousand units of our product per day. Will our rent cost still stay the same? Well, on our existing factory, the rent will stay the same. However, if we want to double our production, our existing factory only has the capacity to produce a thousand units per day. So what are we going to have to do? We're going to have to either move to a bigger factory, extend the existing one, or rent a second factory as well. That means our rent cost will increase when our level of activity goes above the factory capacity, when it goes above a thousand units per day. So an example of a step fixed cost is factory capacity. Even though we do expect rent to be a fixed cost, a fixed cost over a certain activity range, eventually that cost will increase. So if we look at this on a graph, where we've got our total cost on the y-axis and our level of activity on the x-axis. In relation to step costs, what will we have to pay anything when our level of activity is zero? Well, to begin with, it behaves like a fixed cost. So when our level of activity is zero, we will still incur that cost. Now, as our level of activity goes up, initially, our total cost will remain the same. However, once we get to a certain level of activity, in our example, that's a thousand units, once our level of activity goes above a thousand units a day, we are going to have to rent a second factory. So our fixed costs will increase to some new higher level. Then as our level of activity increases again above that threshold, our costs will remain constant at that new higher level. Until again we get to another level of activity where perhaps we need to expand our factory again or employ a number of new factory supervisors. So our fixed costs or our step costs will increase again to another new higher level. And you can see why this is called a step cost. Our final cost behaviour is called a semi-variable cost. Now, this is what it says it is. A semi-variable cost contains... both a fixed and variable element. And the example I'm going to give is a phone bill. So if we take a mobile phone bill for argument's sake, 
I don't know about you, but every month I have to pay a flat fee, a connection fee, in relation to my mobile phone. That is a fixed cost. No matter how much or how little I actually use my phone, I still have to pay that connection fee. And it always stays the same. But that's not the only thing included in my phone bill, unfortunately. In addition to this flat fee, I also have to pay a cost per telephone call made or per text message I send. That is a variable cost. If I make a lot of telephone calls, that part of my phone bill is going to be very, very high because I'm paying per minute I spend on the phone. But if I don't use my telephone at all during the month, I'm going to have to pay the flat fee, but I don't have to pay the additional cost per call or per text message. So in my phone bill then, I can split it out into two elements, the connection fee, which is fixed, and the cost per call which is usually the much higher part of my phone bill, and this is a variable cost. It's going to increase or decrease depending on how much I use my phone. Now, another example of a semi-variable cost is total cost. And by that, I mean the total cost for a company. The total cost of any company's operation is equal to the fixed costs plus the variable costs. As total cost contains fixed and variable elements, it is a semi-variable cost. So let's look at how semi-variable costs look appear on a graph. We've got our total cost and our level of activity. We'll ask our first question. When our level of activity is zero, do we incur any part of this semi-variable cost? Well, the answer is yes. Remember, semi-variable cost contains both fixed and variable elements. If I don't use my phone at all, do I have to pay anything? Yes. I'm going to have to pay the connection fee, or the fixed part of that cost. So when our level of activity is zero, we do have to pay a certain amount, which is equal to the fixed cost element of the semi-variable cost. Then as my level of activity increases, so as I start making calls from my phone, the total cost will go up. So the total cost will increase at the variable cost per unit. So if we show that on our graph, as our level of activity increases, the total cost will increase as well.